Alrighty, what's going on guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be running you guys through my in-game settings as well as my peripherals such as like my monitor, keyboard, mouse, mouse pad, all that good stuff. So stay tuned for that. If you guys find this video helpful, remember to drop a like and subscribe. I would appreciate that. In the month of December, I am doing daily uploads, so it really would mean a lot if you turn that notification bell on. Stay up to date for all the new videos. Anyways, on to the settings. So head to your settings, go to your options, go to the general tab. We're going to start here. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll through everything and you guys can go ahead and pause. If there's something you'd like to see, go ahead and pause on that. Do keep in mind that the HUD presets, there's four presets. I'm on the custom one and it says normal. I'm not sure why that is, but just keep in mind I'm on custom, not normal. All right. So once again, I'll go ahead and scroll through. And if there's anything you guys would like to look at, go ahead and pause, check that out. Do keep in mind that I have a lot of things off, such as like points and, and things like that. So you don't have to copy the, this like one for one. But I do really like how my HUD looks. I know a lot of people are complaining about it. So go ahead and give these a try. And if you like it, uh, you know, stick with it. Let me know in the comments. All right. So anyways, on to the audio tab now. So I play on 70 in-game volume and my desktop volume is 100. There's no specific reason for this. That's just what it is. Dialogue volume on 70, music on zero, of course. So for your dynamic range, you guys could go ahead and mess around with hi-fi, TV. Uh, personally, I like night mode, so that's what I stay on. So voice chat volume is on 80, you on unfocused on, and push to talk. All right, so on to my display. These are my monitors. So I'm on an Aurorus, 240 hertz, 1920 by 1080p, 0.5 ms, 24-inch uh, monitor. And this is my main monitor. This is the one that I play on. I've got two other monitors vertically mounted on my left and my right. These are 165 hertz, 27 inch Aurorus monitors. Uh, they are one MS response time. So a 1440p if I didn't say that. Um, these are cool, but I don't use them for gaming. I use this one when I'm actually playing. Uh, my aspect ratio is 4.3. I'm on vsync off of course fps limit off widescreen letterbox off my field of view is 84 and this is all default as for my brightness i'm on 70. all right so on to the graphics i have my nvidia reflex on on plus boost uh the indicator is off so what you want to do for your your actual like quality settings here you see where it says overall quality go ahead and just turn this to low just click low Scroll down a little bit to where you see shadow quality. Turn this to medium. Scroll all the way down to where you see TAA right here. It says anti-aliasing TAA. Turn this off. That's all I got to do. That's my exact quality settings. That's all I do. Wait, the reason you want to have shadows on medium is so that you get the dynamic shadows. Dynamic shadows are like when someone is moving, you can see their shadow moving. It's really important to have that on. And then TAA makes your game a little bit blurry, so I keep it off. But as for the rest of this, that is what I run. Next up to the controls, ROM put off. ROM put is too buggy. I think it's bugged on this new season from what I've been told. So I keep it off personally. Uh, if you like it, go ahead and keep it on. I don't even really know what it does. So I keep it off. I am currently on the Kickstarter multiplier. So I'm on 65, 65, which is like 6.5. Uh, if you're not on the Kickstarter multiplier, my ADS sensitivity is this. You guys go ahead and pause to check that out. I am on 800 DPI and I'm playing on a G Pro Superlight. So scrolling down a little bit, mouse scroll wheel disabled, gadget deployment advanced, drone deployment advanced, aim is on toggle. I know I'm weird. Lean on toggle, sprint on hold, crouch on toggle, prone on toggle, walk on toggle. All right. As for my controls now, I'm going to go ahead and just scroll through. And once again, you guys go ahead and pause. If there's anything you'd like to see, check it out. While you're here, make sure to like the video. I would appreciate that. Once again, I'm doing daily uploads here in December, so I really would appreciate it if you went ahead and subscribed, turn those notifications on. But this is pretty much everything. I think these are just like spectator controls now. All right. Next up, we're going to skip the privacy tab because this is just like the quote unquote streamer mode. As for the accessibility tab, I am once again still on the purple optic color as well as the 100% opacity. The team colors I have set to blue and red. I think it kind of looks pretty cool. So I'm going to stay on that at least for a little bit. And the rest of this just off. So that covers pretty much all of my uh, in-game settings and all of that good stuff. I'll go ahead and show you guys my 
peripherals now. All right, so firstly, starting off with my keyboard, I'm running the Razer Huntsman Mini. It's a 60% linear keyboard. I like it a lot. Got no problems with it whatsoever. As for my mouse pad, I'm using the HyperX Extra Extra Large. If you guys have been watching my Twitch channel for a few years now, you guys will know that I absolutely love this mouse pad. I've been using it literally since I started streaming. It's an amazing mouse pad. As for my audio setup, I'm running the GoXLR into a DM1 Dynamite into my Shure SM7B. For my headphones, I'm running the Arctis Pro 7 wireless headset from SteelSeries. All right, so as for the monitors that I have, I have three monitors. One of them, which is the main one that I actually play on, is a 24 inch, 240 hertz, 1080p Aurorus monitor. It's got a 0.4 MS response time. Uh, overall, amazing monitor, absolutely love it. As for my other two monitors, I've got two monitors vertically mounted, and those are the Aurorus 27 inch, 165 hertz, 1440p monitors, one MS response time. Also, I do apologize for not having a greater like picture of my actual setup. So I actually had to record this entire thing with my camera plugged into my computer, and that cord is only so long. So I wasn't really able to get any wide shots of my PC setup. So I apologize for that. I would explain why, but it's a long story. So long story short, I will be able to record an actual settings video at a later date. All right, so speaking of my camera, I'm currently using the Sony a6000 to record this, and I'm also using the Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4 DC lens. All righty, onto the star of the setup, which has got to be my NZXT pre-built PC. The reason I went pre-built, because I know a lot of you guys are going to ask, is because I wanted a 3090, and I could not find one for sale that was a reasonable price. So I figured, you know what? I'm just going to buy pre-built. This one was more affordable the entire pc was more affordable than an individual 3090 so that's why i got this pc if you want to check it out it's the nzxt creator pc it's got a i9 11900k an rtx 3090 64 gigs of ram and i've probably got a few terabytes of ssd space and a lot more terabytes of hdd space probably close to like 12 or 15 terabytes in total so for the CPU cooler, I'm running the NZXT Kraken X63. My motherboard is apparently just the Z490. That's all it says on the website. So there you go. My PSU is the 850 watt gold PSU. And I'm using Windows 10 for the operating system. Yeah, overall, this PC has been awesome. I've had zero complaints with it. It's, it's ran amazingly. I'm getting like 250 FPS in Warzone, like five to 600 FPS in Siege at times. It is actually insane so i'd highly recommend this pc if you guys are looking to upgrade again it's the nzxt creator pc all right thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did enjoy the video remember to drop a like and subscribe i would appreciate that once again i am doing daily uploads in december so it would mean a lot to me if you were to drop a sub anyways though have a great day